Alright guys, I am back and I have figured out what I'm going to put here. Actually, I haven't, but I've figured out that I don't know what I'm going to put there. <laughs> that didn't make sense. And let's see. Basically what I'm going to do is go through here and pick a small-ish animal that I can put in. Hmm. I should put an ostrich in, but not here because that'd be really small exhibit. Um, let's do an African Spurred Tortoise, since it doesn't look like, I mean, tortoises, do they really need that much space? I don't think so, because they pretty much just lounge, chilling, doing what tortoises do. <laughs> and let's just do a low wooden fence here. Alright. And what sort of environmental needs do these guys like? Hmm. Some desert? That's always fun. Alright, and I am going to put in a little bit of water. Too much water, though. We don't want that much. Well, that's probably the same amount, but... That's alright. We'll give them some shade here. And... Let's see, what do they like to play with? Give them a tar pit, some carrots, and let's put some food in before we run out of space. Some lettuce, I think. <clears throat> okay, let's put in two males. And that's all. I don't want to overcrowd the exhibit. And a zookeeper. Assign you. Even though I am almost positive it does nothing because he's still running away. That's him, I think. Yeah. Oh, eh, whatever. I'm, I'm not gonna... I'm not going to worry about it right now. <laughs> okay, I think... Well, we should probably put something here. I'm thinking just a row of trees. Like so. We don't want that. And then we'll put like a zookeeper path right here. Alright, looks good. And... Oops. <clears throat> Alright, let's check out the tortoise exhibit.
Looks pretty good, I gotta say. And we'll go sprinting down to the end. And sprinting back up this way. <laughs> My god, it takes actually a really long time to get in here. I don't know what he's doing, but I guess he's eating a carrot. Wow, that's a loud crunch. A nice tar pit bubbling and oozing over here. What's not to love? I have no idea. <laughs> Alright, so it looks pretty good. I'll just get out of guest mode. And I think that that is about everything for the zoo. Apparently, Velociraptor 4 is building a nest. So that's good. Oh yeah, cool. Alright, we'll just watch Velociraptor 4 for now. Velociraptor 1 is her mate. Wait. Him or her? Female. Oh, yeah. Her young. Makes sense. <laughs> so Velociraptor 1 is her mate, and she has Velociraptor 5 and Velociraptor 8 are her children. And apparently, Velociraptor however many, let's say, 9, 10, and 11 as well. Will she attack us for trying to... No. Just run off. Okay. <laughs> Leave the eggs for us to deal with. I'm gonna say, these velociraptors are probably one of my favorite dinosaurs to put in. Oh, look, there's a velociraptor in their home. Oh, I'm hearing the lions, that's what it is. Okay. I heard all this roaring. I'm like, what? Are the velociraptors roaring? But no, it's the lions. Roaring away, disrupting the peace. <laughs> Alright. Now, I've been debating on putting something up here, but I don't think I want to because it's just kind of boring. And yeah, you could see more of the zoo from up here, but not that much more. I mean, you can kind of see over into the hippos better, but I don't know. I think I'm just going to keep it as staff-only area up on top of the gorillas here. And I'm not sure where else to put things. Um, we are kind of running out of space, gotta say. All right, how much is our gift shop? Yeah, it's expensive, but look how much we've sold. Who would have thought? Ooh, a stuffed animal, a backpack, hip pack, hip pack, hip pack, hat, hat. Bunch of backpacks in here. Ethiopian wolf stuffed animal, a puppet, <laughs> so not bad, not bad. Let's see our zoo status real quick. It is a moderately priced zoo, costs $20 for admission. I don't know if that's good or bad, I don't know how much a zoo costs these days. Probably about 20 bucks, I don't know. We have 106 guests in our zoo. We have 577 who, people who have been admitted. Um, ooh, research is zero. I'm not entirely sure how you go about... Okay, i got to rename this now. We're going to call it... Um, <laughs> I'm just typing random letters here. Let's call it... A... 
epic zoo. Okay, we'll call it epic zoo. That works. Um, we get all these stats, which is fun, but... Okay, let's see if I can figure out how to do research, and let's see if I can get rid of these balloons. Can I just delete them? Awesome. Okay, so in order to do research, I believe you click an animal, Maybe not. Maybe we need to go to the extinct animal research lab and see if I can conduct research from here. Um, fossil finding level. Fossils needed. Zoo stars needed. I'm not sure what all that's about. Create an animal. Oh, I've heard you can do this, where you can, like, actually create animals by breeding other animals. I don't know. I don't know. Upkeep. And lifetime upkeep. Hmm. Hmm. All right. I think I'm going to end the episode here, guys, mainly because I'm not entirely sure what else I can do. I will hopefully figure out how to do some research on various animals, but I'm not entirely sure. I may actually go through, and I've never actually played the, um, the tutorial <laughs> for this game, so I might go do that. I might actually make videos of me playing the tutorial. We'll have to see how that goes. Um, but yeah, I think that's all for now. Uh, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.